the quantity of investigations that have to be investigated are huge, and the amount we don't know is is ever forever growing. Yeah. But it, it joins together, just like my notes on this uh, when I put it on the side. Uh, I had it on the side, and all of a sudden they yelled at me, and I said, "What?" You know, it was like a rock. Oh, you know, yeah. The notes collectively yeah. yelled at me, and the, and the, and the, the notes and it said. Don't you realize that a node, an, an acoustic node, is a low pressure area? And I said, what? And that, what about three to five of my thoughts got together and came across and said, yeah. So I went in and I took some graphics people and I said, start drawing this. I don't know what it looks like, but it, this is what it does. And I went over to some technical people and I said, start building this thing. I don't know what it, but it, this is what it does. And so, all of a sudden I got a gigantic tube and um, put a 18 inch speaker at both sides of it. And then got it, I know the velocity of light, of the sound, of course. And so, I got the, I got the node to be right in the middle of the darn thing. I just cranked it up, cranked the dBs up, so it was right there, and it was hanging down from the roof. And, and I took my knife and I cut it, and air rushed in. And I said, "Well, if the node is a low pressure area, the anode has to be high pressure area." Mm -hmm. So I cut it on each side of it, and it swung out. Oh. And then we got eight of them, and we got to sort of fly around the left. Oh. Is that interesting? That's that's sounds about the way UFOs sound, doesn't it? 